When you first start playing chess, you attack your opponent's pieces. Sometimes they notice, sometimes they don't. They attack your pieces. Sometimes you notice, sometimes you don't. But what if your opponent start noticing most of the time, or all of the time? Then you need to be a bit more sneaky. One way to be sneaky is to use a discovered attack. A discovered attack can happen when one piece is hiding behind another piece. Let's put some pieces on the board and look at an example. The white bishop attacks the black queen. Let's put a white rook in the way. Now the bishop isn't attacking the queen any more, but it is hiding behind the rook. If the rook moves, then the bishop attacks the queen again. This is a discovered attack. One piece moves out of the way, and the piece that was hiding now attacks an enemy piece or sometimes a crucial square. Let's move the rook back. A discovered attack might work against some players because they only pay attention to the piece that moves. In our example, they watch where the rook moves and try to work out what the rook is threatening. They don't notice the bishop at all. But don't be lazy. Wherever you move your rook, you will attack the black queen. Do some thinking and work out the best place to move it. You could move your rook to a3 and hope that black doesn't notice the discovered attack on the queen. But if black does notice, then the black queen can just take the white bishop. So can we find a better place to move the rook? What if we move our rook to defend the bishop? This is better. The bishop attacks the black queen, and this time it is defended by the rook, so the black queen shouldn't take it. But is it the best move? Whenever we get an opportunity for a discovered attack, we should make the most of it. In this case, the best move is the rook has moved, so the white bishop attacks the black queen. But the rook has given check, so black has to get out of check. Black cannot save the queen. Now we're going to look at a special type of discovered attack, a more dangerous type of discovered attack, discovered check. Hang on, in our example, the rook gave check. Wasn't that discovered check? Actually, no. Discovered check is when a piece moves out of the way so that the hiding piece gives check. Let's move the rook back again, and swap black's king and queen. Now, if the white rook moves, the white bishop will be attacking the black king. This is discovered check. But just like a normal discovered attack, when we give discovered check, we should make sure we make the best move. We will give discovered check wherever we move the rook. But where is the best place? Chess games are often won by making two threats at once. Did you spot this move? The white rook attacks the black queen. Black has to deal with the discovered check and cannot save the queen. Well, black can defend the queen with the king. Now, if the white rook takes the black queen, then the black king will take the white rook, and the game is a draw. White cannot give checkmate with just a bishop. But there is a way that white can win the black queen without losing the rook. To see this, we are going to look at a special type of discovered check. A more dangerous type of discovered check, double check. Double check is when the moving piece and the hiding piece both give check. In our example, there's somewhere else we could have moved the rook. When the black king moves out of check, the white rook will be able to take the black queen. This is called a skewer. When the more valuable piece. Moves out of the attack, it leaves another piece under attack. There is one square that the black king can move to and defend the queen. Again, if the white rook takes the black queen, then the black king will take the white rook, and the game is a draw. Can you see another skewer? 
Now when the king moves out of check, either of the white pieces will be able to take the black queen, defended by the other. But why is double check so powerful? Let's look at another example. In this position it is white to move. The bishop on d4 is hiding behind the rook on e5, on the same diagonal as the black king. It's time for double check. Let's work out why this is checkmate. There are three ways of getting out of check. Number one, you can try to take the piece that is giving check. Black can take the rook, and black can take the bishop. But this is double check, and black can't take both the rook and the bishop on the same move. Number two, you can try to protect your king by blocking the check. Black can block the rook check, and black can block the bishop check. But this is double check, and black can't block both checks on the same move. So we are left with number three, move the king out of check. The reason double check is powerful is that the only way out of double check is to move the king. In our example, the black king has nowhere to run. It's checkmate. <laughs>